right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just hope that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting the good fight of faith. You run your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. And you help out plenty of people along your journey for the rest of your life. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, closing our back, and a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out. And let us just thank the Lord for his grace, mercy, favor, love, his only begotten son dying for our sins, his word, everything. Amen. Because there's so much going on all four corners of the earth, but you got to wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. All right. Be still and know that he is God. Amen. So have to take it one day at a time, people. All right. Got to be more appreciative and grateful for everything that you have. You might be complaining or feel a certain way right now, but there's a lot of people out there going through it and suffering very hard. Okay. So more praising, less complaining. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. I appreciate all of you for listening. Supporting it means a lot to me. I love you all, praying for you all. And let us always encourage each other in the Lord. Let us always uplift each other in Christ forevermore. Amen. Let us always have that harmony, unity, peace, love, cooperation, just everything on and all. Amen. Because, you know, we're scattered all four corners of the earth, but we still serve the one true creator. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Welcome, everyone. All peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all four corners of the earth, all kindreds. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Most High. Let us call on his name. Let us cry out to him. Let us worship him in truth and spirit. Let us serve him with gladness and joy. Let us sing a new song, people. Rejoice, always rejoice. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Just praise him, y'all. Amen. Gotta praise him and thank him for everything he's brought you through and what he continues to still keep doing for you. Amen. He would never leave you nor forsake you. I know that's right. Let us love the Lord our God for our mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. And let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until his son comes back. Amen. He is coming back like a thief in the night. He is coming back in an hour nobody knows but the Father. And he has come back for a people who are spotless, blameless, no spot, no wrinkle. Yes, 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 y'all. True justice. Let the washing of the water by the word clean us up real good. And keep us holy, spotless, blameless, and everything. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Uh, let us know the Lord better. And let us just always obey the gospel, obey the law, statutes, and commandments. And let us obey all of the word. Amen. Stay faithful, stay on a narrow path, and just keep on going. Amen. Keep on going, people. Keep enduring, keep persevering. Amen. Most definitely. Count it all joy. All right. So, in today's message, we're going to do a commentary within the book of Exodus. All right. So we'll go through this commentary, and then we'll close out with a prayer. We'll close out with a priestly blessing. And then we'll close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise his only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah, y'all. So here we go. All right. Today's Bible reading, the book of Exodus, chapter 6, verses 1 through 13. Recommended reading, the book of John, chapter 15, verses 1 through 4. The book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 through 47. And also the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10. All right, the title of this commentary is Kill the Messenger. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, three of the most dangerous occupations in the United States are those of logger, an air, p- airline pilot, and a fisherman. Of course, a logger deals with the tremendous weight and unpredictable nature of falling trees. A pilot faces the danger of working tens of thousands of feet above the ground. And a commercial fisherman constantly runs the risk of drowning. In the ancient world, the job of messenger might have topped this list. Like most people, ancient rulers hated getting bad news. However, unlike most other people, they had the power to do something about it. And they did by executing the person who delivered the news. When the Roman emperor, Tiberius, received an astrological astrological prediction he didn't like, he hurled the messenger off a cliff. So who can blame Moses for being reluctant to deliver the news to Pharaoh that the Israelites, his slave laborers, were hitting the road? God gave Moses an assignment no one would envy. And like most unenthusiastic recruits, Moses tried to talk his way out of the job. He pointed out that Pharaoh probably wouldn't listen to him. And Moses reminded God that public speaking wasn't his forte. Moses didn't realize that the success of his mission didn't depend on his skills. It depended on his faithfulness. 
God could have sent anyone to deliver the message to Pharaoh, even one of Moses' sheep. But God picked Moses instead, and he gave Moses the strength and skills he needed to complete this assignment, to complete the assignment. That's important to remember when it comes to the things of God, to the things God calls us to do. Just as it was for Moses, it's easy for us to reason and argue with God. But God, I don't have the skills to be a leader at church. Or God, why don't you send someone else? No one will listen to what I have to say. Yet, what we see as our own weaknesses shouldn't stop us from carrying out our God-given assignments. Because with our marching orders comes God's strength. Come God's strength and assistance. Remember, the success of our mission doesn't depend on our skills. It depends on our faithfulness. Amen. Things to take away from the commentary. What can you do to increase your trust in God's strength? When have you stepped out in faith, even though you didn't feel prepared for an assignment from God? Do you feel God leading you to do something for which you feel you're not qualified? Pray about it today and ask for God's empowerment and courage in your life. In other words, quote unquote, ever notice that the whisper of temptation can be heard louder than the loudest call to duty? Quote, Earl Earl Wilson. All right, so that's a commentary, all right? Very beautiful commentary, okay? So always remember to carry out God's orders, to walk by faith and not by sight, and don't get caught up in insecurities or weaknesses or um, think you're not qualified for something. God chose you. God elected you. Do what God called you to do, people. Do the assignment. Stick to his word and handle it. And I speak for myself as well, amen? Because at some point of our lives, we've all dealt with doubt, insecurity, skepticism, insecurities, conscious, or what have you, but we have to walk by the spirit and not by the flesh, okay? The spirit is willing, the flesh is weak, okay? The flesh is flawed and full of weaknesses and sin, but the Holy Spirit, that's what gives us the strength, the courage, the comforter, the helper. It guides us dealing with God's word and what God has for us to do and accomplish many things by the spirit, okay? You worship in truth and spirit. You can't worship in truth and flesh. You have to worship in truth and spirit, okay? So by the spirit, by obedience, things are activated in alignment, Amen. So there you have it, all right? That is the commentary for today, all right? So what I would love to do as I close out is give all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise his only begotten Son who died for our sins, amen? All right, so here we go. Yes, yes, y'all, praise him, y'all. Have that strength and courage, y'all. Bold and courageous, okay? Be bold and courageous, all right? Praise him. He is the seeking shepherd, the self-existent. The self-existent one, the separate from sinners, the servant, the servant of rulers, the servant of the father, the servant of the Lord, the shade upon thy right hand, the shadow of a great rock, the shadow of his hand, the shadow of mine hand, the shadow of the almighty, the shadow of thy wings, the shalom of God, the Shekinah glory, the shelter, the shelter of his flock, the shepherd of Israel, the shepherd of souls, the shepherd of the flock, the shepherd of the little flock, the shepherd of the other sheep. Yes, he is the shepherd of the sheep, shepherd of tender compassion, a shepherd lamb, the shepherd of the valley, the shield for me, the shield of thy help, the Shiloh, the shorn lamb, the sign spoken against, the silent and meek lamb, the sin bearer, the sinless high priest, most definitely, amen, most definitely, the sinless one, sir, the slayer of the enemy, the smiter of the nations, the smith of the nations, the smitten judge of Israel, the smitten rock of Horeb, the smitten shepherd, the smitten of God, the son of man, the sower of the word of God, the spirit of Christ, the song of drunkards, the song, the, the son from heaven, the son of David, the son of freedom, the son of God, the son of Joseph, the son of man, son of man, the savior, the son of man in heaven, the son of Mary, the son of peace, the son of the father, son of the free woman, son of the highest, son of the living God, son of the truth, son over his house, spiritual drink, spiritual meat. Spiritual rock, spoiler of the principalities, the spokesman of the father, the sprinkler of nations and kings, the star out of Jacob, the true stay, the stiller of the raging sea, the stone cut without hands, the stone of Israel, the stone of stumbling, the stone the builders rejected, the stranger and alien, the strength and song, the strength and time of trouble, the strength of Israel, the strength of my heart, the strength of my life, the strength of the children, the strength of the Lord, the strength to the needy, the strength to the poor, the stretched out arm, the strong arm, the strong habitation, the strong hand, the strong Lord, the strong redeemer, the strong power, the strong rock, the strong hold, the strong tower. Yes, the stumbling stone, the son of righteousness. Yes, he is the sure foundation. He is the sure mercies of David. He is a sure steadfast anchor, the surety of a better testament, the surety of David. Yes, he is a sustainer. Most definitely, he is the sword of thy excellency, the tabernacle, the tabernacle of God, the teacher from God, 
the teacher of David, the teacher of my path, the tempest of hail and destroying storm. Yes, he is amazing and excellent. He is the temple, the temple of the city, the tender plant, the, the amazing, excellent, wonderful God, the, the very awesome of the kings, the testament of prophecy, the testator, the testimony of the testimony of the scriptures, that bread, that eternal life, that one from the beginning, that prophet, that rock, that creator, the creator, the everlasting arm, the excellent delight, the glorious honor of thy majesty, the glory of their strength. The grace of God, the highest, the just, the justification of life, the justification of many, the king, the Lord, my hiding place, the Lord, my helper and deliverer, the love of God, the love of God, the man, the manifest life, the mercy of the most high. Yes, he's the mighty of Jacob, the rock of our salvation, the savior, the victory, the savior of upright hearts, the secret of the Lord, the son of the Lord God, the song of Moses, the sower, the straight gate, thine holy one, thresher of wheat and chaff, throne of God's holiness, thou Christ. Tower of David, tower and fortress, tower of salvation, the trampler of the young lion and dragon, the treader of the angry waves, the treader of the high places, the treader of the lion and adder, the treader of the winepress, the, thy glorious name, thy kindness and marvelous comfort, thy staff and comfort, thy praise. The treasure of wisdom, the tried stone, the triumph Christ, the triumph overcomer, the triumph lamb, the true and faithful witness, the true and righteous judge, the true bread from heaven. The true God and eternal life, true vine, true light, most definitely. Amen. We touch and agree, y'all. Yes, yes. We serve an awesome creator, and the Son is amazing for dying for our sins. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Ha, Yesha, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Aha, Yesha, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yeshua, Yahweh. Yes, yes. The consuming fire, y'all, most definitely. Yes, yes, praise him, praise him, y'all. Yes, his blood cleaned up our mess. He died for our sins. He is the seed of Abraham, promise, the seed of Adam, humanity, the seed of David, kingship, the seed of God, deity, the seed of Jacob, nationality, the seed of Judah, tribe, the seed of Shem, race, the seed of woman, prophecy. Amen. We touch and agree in the authority and the power and name of Jesus Christ. You are healed, renewed, restored, redeemed, forgiven, embraced, loved. New mind, new heart, new soul, new hands to prosper, new footsteps, new path, new journey. New song to sing, new dreams, new visions, renewed strength, stability, steadfast, abundance, prosperity, love, comfort, peace, joy, merry heart, gladness of heart, joy, joyful, joy, 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 y'all. Yes, continual feast, double portion blessings, okay? Yes, yes, y'all. Stay strong, people, amen? Stay strong, most definitely, y'all. I pray to God that whoever's listening to this message, I pray that you repent and get baptized, start your life off for the most high, and I pray that you stay on the narrow path forevermore, people, amen? Yes, yes, y'all. So that's just the word for today, all right? Just the commentary within the book of Exodus regarding with Moses dealing with Pharaoh and the Israelites, okay? The Lord's outstretched arm is still going to work today, people. The outstretched arm is still with us, people, amen? Yes, yes, all right? So there you have it. What I would love to do as I close out is give y'all this priestly blessing, okay? So here we go. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his son, saying, This is the way you shall bless the children of Israel. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. So there you have it, all right? Amen. Shalom. All right, so that wraps it up, all right? I'm Jarvis Kingston. I love you all. I'm praying for you all. Okay, stay strong out there, people. Take it one day at a time. Peace.